Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Croeso Bonavigion of Bonavigasai. This is O Little Town of Aberystwyth, a serialised Louis Knight adventure by Malcolm Price, presented by us, Lighthouse Theatre. 2020 has been a difficult year for everyone, and we fully understand that. But if you could see yourself to give a small donation to help us continue our work, we'd be most grateful. But just be aware, everything is free to listen to. Merry Christmas. Nadolig Llawyn Echigid. by Malcolm Price. Episode 8. The story so far. Aberystwyth at Christmas. A department store centre lies murdered in an alleyway, and the Queen of Denmark has asked Louis Knight, Aberystwyth's only detective, to investigate the crime. After leaning on a family of stovepipe hat blackers from Talabont, and finding out that Nurse Tadpole has been hawking gewgaws, Louis and Calamity get in touch with Poxcrop, Aberystwyth's finest fence. From here they get to Cousin Kevin's crazy comedy camp, where Louis' old games teacher, Herod Jenkins, is the security manager. Refused entry, Louis returns to his own caravan in Anaslas for a Chinese with his girlfriend Mavanoi. But things are not quite what they see. Mavanoi was sitting on the sofa looking devastated. And Tadpole was in the kitchenette stirring the food. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Louis. You're back. We were starting to wonder where you'd got to. Sweet and sour, my favourite. You must have known I was coming, huh? You'll be in trouble at the nursing home when the doctor finds you've stolen Mavanoi. We were looking all over for her, but I thought she might be here. I'd make a good detective, wouldn't I? Mavanoi, why did you let her in? Oh, he's so mean. Always joking. Louis and I had a great time the other night, didn't we, Louis? That's one of the best dates I've ever been on. And I've been on a few, I can tell you. I'll put the food out. You open the wine. Sit down now, and I'll say grace. Oh, Lord, all we ask for is a stale crust and a few cobwebs. And yet, you give us Chinese. Truly, we are not worthy of your bounty. Amen. Yum, yum. Tuck in, everybody. So, you two went on a date? No. We went to see the new clip movie, Bark of the Covenant. How nice. You should really try and see it. It's great, isn't it, Louis? It wasn't really a date. Don't you hate it when men do that? We've been seeing each other for a while now. That's nice. I'm pleased for you both. He really knows how to charm a girl. Trip to the cinema, tickets to see clip, champagne and roses, holding my hand, whispering sweet nothings. Oh, my head's still swimming. Mavanoi avoided my gaze and stared down at her food. She brought her wristwatch up to her nose in the manner of someone who is going to announce a press need to leave. Gosh, is that the time... Do you have to go? No, she doesn't. Yes, I think I ought to. It's getting late. No, it isn't. It's not even seven o'clock. Look, Tadpole, what are you doing here? You are not my girlfriend. Mavano and I are supposed to be having dinner together. I'm not stopping you, am I? It's Mavano who wants to go. Just tell me what you want. Oh, God, Louis. Don't be so dense, will you? What do you mean? You know why I'm here. Don't make me say it in front of Mavanui. I'll die of shame. Say what? You know. About our little secret. Spare a girl some blushes, please. I have no secrets from Mavanui. State your business and go. I've come to collect. 
you know? Collect what? Them. Them what? All right. You asked for it. I've come for my pants. What? My pants. I think I left them here the other night. No, don't you two move. I'll get them. They'll be under the pillow. You just enjoy your dinner. Maveroy. Please don't say anything. Oh, here they are. How embarrassing. Maveroy, you must understand. Oh, I understand. It was time to throw Tadpole out. I took her coat off the hook and thrust it into her hands and pushed her to the door. What are you doing? Throwing you out! Now push off! But, Louis! Mavanoi! Louis, it's so awful. It's okay now. Everything's gonna be all right. She's still outside. And that's where she will stay. What if she comes back? She won't. She can't get in. The door's made of aluminium. What if she has a tin opener? Look, just wait. She'll get bored and go home. Try some duck in black pepper. I'm not hungry. Come here. Let me give you a hug. Oh, Louis. We held our breath, straining to hear signs that she was leaving, but all we could hear was the distant squeak of the lion's maid sign outside the newsagents. I nestled my chin on Mavanoi's head and rested my gaze on her hair, the color of conquers. Some girls try to buy it in a bottle, but that's not possible. You can't buy such beauty. It is a gift from your ancestors. Or you have to imprison it in the bars of a song. Oh my God! She's on the roof! Louis, I know you're there. She's in the caravan. She's not. She's talking down the flue. Don't do anything. Just wait. She'll get tired of this silly game. No, she won't. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have locked me out. I was only trying to be kind. I'm angry now. You shouldn't have made me angry. Look here, you. Get off my roof! Open the door. No way! Get off my roof or... Or oh, what? I'll come and drag you off! I'd like to see you try. If I have to come out there, I'll break your damn neck! I'd soon sort you out. I've been trained by the soldiers for Jesus. We'll see about that. Send Mavanoi home, and I promise to forget what you did. You're insane! Don't upset me anymore. You won't like it when I'm upset. You've only seen the sweet side of me. I'm plenty mad now, Louis. Send her home, and I promise no one will get hurt. You can spend the whole night in the roof for all I care. Don't make me do it, Louis. Don't make you do what? Don't make me use my soldiers for Jesus techniques. This has gone far enough. Louis, what are you doing? Some teach her to stick her head in my kitchen flue. Well, she'll get more than she bargained for, won't she? What is it? Oven cleaner. <gasps> See how she likes that in her eye. Here goes. Take that, you horrible old... We waited a while, and when no more sounds came, I went outside. She lay unconscious on the ground. I walked across to the newsagents to use the phone. When I got back, I could already hear the distant ambulance siren. And Mavanoi had gone. You've been listening to A Little Town of Aberystwyth by Malcolm Price, performed by Lighthouse Theatre. The role of Tadpole was played by Non Harv, and Mavanoi Montez was played by Linos Daniel. Louis Knight was played by Matt Addis. It was directed by Adrian Metcalf, and the music was composed by Paula Gardner. 
It was produced by Tony Davis of South Wales Audio. On those dear lips of thine Oh why, oh why hast thou forgotten The day you promised mine to be